All right, I'm gonna talk loud. I got the heater running in the garage. We have a new project. It's a yard garage find, I guess is what you call it. Some good friends got it from Don State. Got a good deal on it, just a couple hundred bucks. Something to play with, but some of you may recognize it. 1980 Arctic Cat Panther 440. Got electric start, oil injection. Yeah, all the fancy stuff for 1980. But uh, so far, had to replace the hood. I mean, not the hood, the headlight. This is what was in it. You can see it's totally blown out. Put a new modern halogen version in, came right up. Nothing to do there. The recoil starter doesn't want to recoil. That's what I'm going to look at first. It does start, it does run. I was ripping around the yard in it already. It takes quite a while for it to heat up in this uh, single digit weather air cool. But after two or three laps, started pulling pretty good. I'm gonna change the plugs, looking at the model numbers and the, uh, the, the way they're printed compared to the newer plugs. I'm gonna guess they've been in there a very long time. Supposedly the carburetor's been cleaned recently and the starter has been rebuilt. The starter does not, the way the, the, uh, the the Bendix recoil on it doesn't seem to be working very well. I might have to take that apart. But uh, my goal is to actually run it with no battery or maybe, you know, not worry about the starter. Because uh, it, it starts actually fairly easy. With the, with like a foot on the recoil, it started cold. Three or four pulls. Um, this, a minute ago at like 10 degrees, 9 degrees. So it's, it's, it's a pretty good starter. It seems to have good compression. You can hear both of them hit pretty equally. Um, the resistance is pretty good when you pull on it. Um, I have all the gear to check it, obviously, but you know what? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. This is uh, going to be a, a beginner sled, a rip around the yard kind of thing. I don't even know if we're going to register it. If we do, it'll be an antique. Um, I'm going to check the chain case fluid. It's got a pretty nasty exhaust leak. Ground up there, the big lead seal there is missing. I'm going to see if I can manufacture something there. Uh, the goal is to spend as little money on it as possible. So far, I've got the headlight, two spark plugs, a switch to fix, fix the handlebar heat. I forgot that. Another real um, um, luxury for 1980, from what I remember. Uh, and then I'm just going to start checking over stuff and seeing what I can fix for almost free. I don't even know if I'm going to put a belt on it because the belt seems to work fine. Clutches all seem to work fine. Everything worked fine over there. So I don't really know um, if there's a problem that I'm not seeing. You know, I might spray a little brake cleaner on the primary to get it to, to see if it'll free up a little bit, but it doesn't look that bad over there. Um, anyway, um, the track is, you know, okay, acceptable shape for what it is. I have no intentions of replacing it, even looking at it. Uh, I may have to look at it because the steering is loose. And it's not really play in the, in the, the ends. The bracket that holds the bottom of the steering column at the bottom is loose. And I'm going to guess nobody went at that because you're probably going to have to either get the track out or very tight to get up under in the front side of the tunnel is where I think it's at. Never done one of these sleds before, but I'm going to find out. Um, so, maybe a day or two this thing will be ripping. We'll see. We'll keep you posted. Thanks.